Okay, so we're here playing around with um, this X32 Live Toolbox, and we are um, playing around with some custom commands, and basically what I wanted to do was see if I could do some crossfades. So I built a couple of things. We're using these tidbits here, um, and if I pull up this uh, gene focus, you can see that there is a command uh, line right here and we can give all kinds of different kinds of commands in this command line and then the program will interpolate that data as OSC commands which are then sent to the console. So for instance I've got this gene focus tidbit and if I click x32 it's going to send that to the x32 and voila um, I can kill that, that pop-up at some point but voila we have our crossfade. Basically what happens is we are crossfading channel 1 through 3 to negative 5 um, and channel 2 to 0 over a period of 2 seconds. And that's, that's what that command line looks like. Um, let me just kill those guys. Come back over here. So that's useful for a number of things, like um, if we wanted to do a, a short fade in between um, song 1, song 2, so on and so forth, as opposed to an instantaneous sort of jump like we get with the, um, the snippets. We'll see. So, like, we can we can use these snippets, but they're instantaneous as opposed to having a fade. So, this is um, another place that this is going to be useful. Um, is that, for instance, if we have our mix built, um, and then we can use our DCAs, right? So, we've got our drums, keys, guitars, vocals, vocal effects. So, one thing I find myself doing is pulling out vocal effects sort of gradually, and then bringing drums, keys, guitars down gradually. Um, and we can automate that using this OSC toolkit that's been provided to us. So, speaking with band, we're going to see a drop. And I really should kill that. Um, once we're in show mode, I'll kill that. But um, And then when it's done, we can hit this one. It'll bring everything back up. Um, super useful. So again, that's assuming we're, we're working on output faders there, or, or, you know, or group faders. So that's assuming your mix is built in a way that you need. So you could still like do whatever changes you need in between those two things and then have that speaking moment. Um, what's cool now is that we can now map those things to custom buttons. So now I have a button in communication and communication. And now we're back into our song thing. Um, and I've set negative 5 as sort of an arbitrary value. Um, you know, you could go to negative 8 or whatever. Negative 5 seems to be a, a good starting point for most things. So, um, you know, I definitely, when we're on set, I could, I could um, make those adjustments as needed. Um, yeah, that's kind of it for now. What I'm curious about next is um, finding out whether or not I can map these buttons to a physical controller. Um, and that's where I'm going to be going next, because that, that will be incredibly useful for a lot of things.